Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reading to you another story and this is another one of Aesop's fables. So today I'm going to be reading to you The Grasshopper and the Ants. Now I know that we have some familiarity with this story because we did discuss it before, but we did not read the entire text. So today I'm going to be reading the entire book to you and I want you to keep in mind what the lesson or the moral of the story is. I want you to also pay close attention to any challenging words that may, may come up and try to understand new words and their meaning. So I'll discuss that as we move through the story. All right, let's begin. Why work so hard, sang Grasshopper? It's spring and time to go fishing. No time to relax, said the ants. Why labor so long, Grasshopper chirped. It's summertime. Let's have a picnic of fresh, yummy leaves. Come join me in making music. So you can see, instead of work, on this page, the author chose to use the word labor. No summer light to waste, replied the ants. Autumn will be here soon. Why toil so steady, asked Grasshopper. It's fall and the world is a playground of leaves. Oh, how their colors twirl and glide. Come dance and sing. So we can definitely pick up on some of the Grasshopper's traits along with the ant's traits. Uh, grasshopper really likes having a good time. He likes playing, running around, playing in nature while the ants are very busy working, knowing that winter is coming. Look at this wonderful mountain of leaves. Come play. Of course, we all like to play, but we do have to keep in mind that work should come first. And oh, how I love the sparkle of first snow. Come see. Winter time is for making snow angels and snow hoppers. Instead of snowmen, snow hoppers. If only someone would join me, Grasshopper shivered. You can see here on this page, Grasshopper was out alone in the snow, and now he has gone to the ant's house to knock on the door. Remember, they were busy all spring, all summer, and all fall working, collecting food for the winter. Inside, the ants continue to work very hard with all the supplies that they've collected for winter. While Grasshopper is alone out in the snow, A cup of tea? asked Queen Ant. How kind of you, said Grasshopper. I was starting to worry that they were going to turn their backs on him and not let him in.
Here's a note from the author. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. How appropriate the moral of the grasshopper and the ants is to an artist who had been pondering for many years how I might reimagine this beloved Aesop's fable. Somewhere down the road, maybe after I finish these other projects, I would think, not unlike the grasshopper, who was a musician is an artist in his own right. When I finally mentioned the idea to my editor, she responded with the think ahead spirit of the ants. How soon can you start? Try to keep this lesson in mind as you're working through your classwork at home, uh, on the computers. It's better to get things done today instead of putting them off and then your work starts to pile up and then you get backed up and then you, it, it's hard to catch up. So try to take this message and apply it to your current situation at home. All right, have a great day.